उसके लिए क्या मैसेज हो सकता है उससे पहले एक छोटी सी ब्रेक एंड वेलकम बैक टू द सेकंड सेगमेंट ऑफ आर प्रोग्राम आपसे कहा जिस हमने आप प्रोग्राम के अंदर बताया था हमारी बातचीत चल रही है शेख हिशाम कबानी के साथ जो अमेरिका में बेस्ड है और उनसे हम बात कर रहे हैं कि मुसलमान दुनिया के क्या प्रॉब्लम है और उनका क्या विजन है कि इनको किस तरह सॉल्व किया जा सकता है डू यू थिंक दैट मुस्लिम पीपल नीड टू री रीड देयर हिस्ट्री द वे यू आर एक्सप्लेनिंग दैट वी नीड टू गो बैक टू अवर हिस्ट्री एंड स्टार्ट यू नो रीडिंग इट विद एन ओपन माइंड आई थिंक दिस इज द बेस्ट वे यू मैंशन एट द बिगिनिंग दैर इज ए क्लैश ऑफ सिविलाइजेशन बिटवीन इस्लाम एंड and the west i i will say i will say i don't want to say this yes true or not true but i will say before we say there is a, a, a clash of civilization bet, between islam and the west or muslims and the west there is already clash of civilization between the muslims themselves fix that first we are speaking about the dirtiness of uh, uh we are not seeing the dirtiness of ourselves what we are let us fix our problems clashes we are not are we not clashing with each other you are we are clashing with everyone within the muslim ummah itself there is clashes if we don't fix the, this one how we are going to to say oh muslim are clashing with the west is not the muslim is the minority that want to take an advantage to take a political stand because they rebels against their own governments and they are motivating this, the, 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 the streets and the citizens by increasing hate toward the, uh, uh, the, toward the West, increasing the hate in the heart of Muslims to demonstrate and criticize the West, forgetting that they are jeopardizing the life of millions and millions of Muslims living in Europe and in America. How do you see uh, these recent uh, sloganeering and uh, what we call you know, public, public campaigns on, on the roads, on, on the issue of the cartoons in, in the West, where uh, we are being criticized that we are ignorant to a level that most of the people have not even seen those cartoons, but they are on the street, they are burning their own properties, uh, and they are you know, banning people's travels to these countries. How, how do you see that cartoon controversy? Uh, banning uh, people traveling from where to where? Uh, uh, towards they they are making life miserable for those people who want to travel to Muslim countries. For example, Europeans cannot travel to Muslim countries. They they feel unsafe with Muslims. You put it in a different way. Question: <laughs> uh, I from beginning, we are as Muslims. We love our Prophet. He is the role model for everyone. is the perfect human being on earth that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created and put him and chose him as the messenger and the seals of messenger for humanity. That's no doubt. We love him, we, we, we give everything in our life for our Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We object on the cartoon. We, we don't say that we don't, know, we don't object, we object. But we, we don't uh, uh, encourage people to demonstrate because this is not the, w the way and the attitude of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and let them go to the hadith of Prophet, and let them go to the history. Prophet for seven years, he was being attacked by his uh, neighbor, throwing, his garbage, uh, throwing the garbage at the door of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And Prophet in the morning taking that garbage and dumping it in the dump and going to the mosque. And seven years, he did not tell anyone. Until one day, he didn't see the garbage at his door. He said, oh, what happened to my neighbor? So he went to visit the neighbor because he knew the neighbor must be sick or died. And as soon as he, as he entered, the neighbor said, Ya, Ras ya Muhammad, he didn't say, Ya Rasulullah. Ya Muhammad, what is this? He said, I came to check on you because I didn't see your, your daily action. He said, This is Islam. This is the best thing I saw in my life. Prophet Sallallahu solved the problem with patience, solved the problem with education, solved with the problem with integrity and respect and honor as a messenger of Allah. He's not solving the problem in moving the people in the street and killing hundreds of people, innocent people who were in demonstration, they were, they were dead. What is the benefit? If we, if we want to look at that, against the cartoon, it's okay, I, I, I'm with you, we, we don't agree with the cartoon. 
But we don't move the masses. If we want to move the masses, there is another opportunity which is better to move the masses toward it than to move the masses against the cartoon. And if you ask me that question, what is the other opportunity that we have to move the masses, I will give you one hint. When the statue of Buddha was ex destroyed in Afghanistan, what happened? Nothing. No, the whole, uh, the world, the whole criticized. world criticized. And what did the Muslim scholars? They did criticize. And they said, we do not accept that violent act. Is correct? It's correct or not? That's what happened. So it means the importance of our relics, uh, the importance of the relics in any part of the world is important for the people of that faith. You have to honor it for them. That's how Islam can live in peace with everyone. What do you think about your own relics as a Muslim being demolished and not one single Muslim leader spoke one word? You know what is demolished? What was being demolished? The house of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where he got married to Khadija and he has his seven kids, three boys and four daughters where he lived his life it was demolished by Safa and Marwa it was demolished under the renovation of the Holy Mosque and it turned out to be a restroom Go and check it. Anyone said anything? Where are the Muslim leaders? Which is worse? The cartoon or this? I don't think anyone will speak that. I'm speaking that only with all my respect to the, to the kingdom uh, and to the politicians and the, and the royal family. Because in the pre previous time, I will give you an, an uh, incident happened. In the time of uh, Mitwali Sha'rawi, the big scholar of Egypt, when they decide in the renovation of the Kaaba to, to move Maqam Ibrahim, because you know Maqam Ibrahim is a very narrow area where people take, make around and circumambulate around the Kaaba. They want to increase that area, they have to take Maqam Ibrahim. It's a Muslim relic for 1400 years since time of Prophet and before time of Prophet till Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam, it was existing there. So what Mitwali Sha'ara you said? When the Ministry of Religious Affairs took the decision for demolition, he went to the king. He said, please, this is an Islamic relics. Allah mentioned in the Holy Quran. They stopped it. The king stopped it. There was a Muslim leader that spoke out. They stopped it. The, the, the royalties will do that. But today there is, there is no one. They are going now to demolish the, uh, the birthplace of Prophet Wasallam. Anyone said anything? It is on the news. It's everywhere on the website. Since two years, they want to take that library out and demolish the birthplace of Prophet Sallallahu Because under the renovation of the mosque. Where are the Muslim leaders? No one said one word. About the cartoons, everyone was jumping. Jump against uh, also about the, the, your own faith. What's happening to your own faith? What are your thoughts on the, uh, the political Islam, the Wahhabi Islam, we are told, the Shia Islam, and uh, the Afghan Islam and the Pakistani Islam, uh, do you think that these people change the religion according to their own political moods and motivations? Wallahi, everyone has his own way of looking at Islam. Islam is a, is a religion that is, is, is wrapping everything. Everything falls under it. So it depends how you are looking at, the, at, the, at the, what, you, what you are reading. If the Muslim Ummah, uh, if in different places they are reading a different way of Islam, I don't understand it. Like the Wahhabi Islam, we know they are reading a literary way. They don't go with interpretations. They don't go with the things that uh, as Maulid al-Nabi, they don't accept Mirad al-Nabi, they don't accept intercession, they don't accept many things, they don't accept it in, in the Wahhabi way, way of uh, thinking or the Salafi way, either we or no one else. So that is a, a strict one. The other Afghani Islam is the way that they mix with the culture. Now you have in Afghanistan, you have the Salafi, or what they call them, what is Wahhabi now changing to Salafi uh, uh, world, but you have also the people who are the grassroots of Afghanistan, they are the Sufis, which are the mainstream Islam. They are the Ahl-Sunnah 